Major General Barro is a patriot. He runs UNIDAD, the Bolivian military police force from main operating base Jaguar in Flor de Oro. When Santa Blanca first arrived in Bolivia, they went to war with UNIDAD. Innocent civilians got caught in the crossfire. The death toll was tremendous. Barro had seen a lot of death in his life and was desperate to bring peace back to his country. So he brokered a backroom deal between El Sueño and the Bolivian government. Unidad agreed to look the other way and let Santa Blanca run their business. In exchange, the cartel promised to keep their killings to a minimum. Obviously, the results have been a mixed bag. The relationship between Santa Blanca and Unidad is tense. Now that Bolivia has become a full-fledged narco state, I believe that he is starting to regret his decision. Major General Barro is either one of our most dangerous enemies or our greatest ally. There's only one way to find out which. The only way we're going to get General Barro is through his daughter, Erendira. We can use her as bait to draw Barro out, but we need her to cooperate. Do whatever you have to in order to convince her. I'm not sure Bowman understands who we are. Asking us to use an innocent woman as leverage. Yeah, she's one of those handlers who thinks we just do wet work. To be clear, we are not harming this woman unless she tries to kill one of us. Roger that. Buckle up, people. All right, let's roll. There she is. Keep in mind, she's our only lead. We need her. And if she don't want to help? Like I said, she's our only lead.
Rally up, people. I copy. Move it. Let's roll. Elendira, buen día. We're looking for General Barrow. Lo siento. Mire, I cannot help you. You can and you will. We know the General is your father. We only want to meet him. ¿Qué? Why should I believe you? Because you don't have a choice. You think the cartel Sicarios are bad? We are the people they have nightmares about. Papa? Some gringos have found me. Americanos. I am not hurt. They say they only want to meet. No! I do not trust them. He says you are malos, peligrosos, but he has given me a location. Saddle up. We need General Barrow alive, but I don't expect him to be friendly. Want to get to that RV first. Rally on me. Moving. the RP. Keep your eyes open. I don't trust the big man.
Rally up, people. Copy. Of hostile presence. Stay there. Roger that. Rally on me. Moving. Watch for civilians. We don't want to kill somebody by mistake. the general. You Yankees are proud bastards. Bullying. Ambush! General fucked us over! Get him! The captain, he's escaping. You guys ready? Fire. Take it a shot. Bigger! Roger. Silencio, Mache. Our good general knows when to surrender. Didn't have to go down this way. Of course it did, Captain. You threatened my daughter. My only regret is that I did not bring more soldiers. Sir, we come to you because we need your help. This is not how one asks for help in Bolivia. This isn't the normal kind of help we're asking. We're working with the rebels. We want to take down the Santa Blanca cartel. You can't be happy with how they're treating your country. Do they treat it any worse than the Americans? Sir, your daughter's safe. Whether or not you help us, you are coming with us. Chopper, hit the dirt. Nothing like me. She's kind where I am coarse. She thinks with her heart. 
I could never understand that. I'm not sure we're supposed to understand our children. We just hope they learn from our mistakes. She's ashamed of me, no? Ashamed of me and my mistakes. She could have hidden from my enemies in England, in España. Instead, she stays in Bolivia, teaching in a poor school in a dangerous area. She's trying to serve my penance for me. You're no angel, sir. But I think your daughter's the kind of girl who does what she wants for her own reasons. Why else would she do such a thing? She could have lived a life of comfort, in peace. Maybe she loves her country too much to leave it. See, si, perhaps. Perhaps she's too much like me. It is not so good to be too patriotic. Approaching extraction point. Keep your eyes open. Bastardo, these were good men! I was in La Paz trying to speak to the president when you had my daughter call me. I have known for some time that our relationship with Santa Blanca is untainable, but I could not convince the bureaucrats there of our situation. They wouldn't let you speak with the president. No. And I fear that I revealed my intentions to men and women who are already in the pocket of sueño. But today, corruption is the Bolivian way of life. I've been trading too many shots with Unidad to feel any sympathy, sir. I had wanted order when I made peace with Santa Blanca. But it is an order fueled by corruption and violence against our citizens. That is my responsibility, and I will help make it right. It's an uphill battle. But if you don't want any more violence for Bolivia, for your daughter, we have to shut this down proper. I may have a few loyal officers who are willing to see things my way. Also, I have a friend, a colonel in the regular army. He may be able to help. But all of this is going to take time. Then let's start now. Nomad, this is Bowman. Beautiful work in Florio. With General Barro turning against the cartel and our own assets protected, shit is gonna get tough for corrupted officers inside Unidad. And for the Santa Blanca friends. Hell yeah. With Barrow and his military contacts on our side, you can expect Unidad patrols to get a lot less lenient with cartel members. Way to build tension. Exactly. And give our rebel friends more room to operate. They will be moving on to rougher terrain. I'll be in touch. Nomad out. <laughs>